Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Game of Peons. I'm going to be showing you a quest reward system. Now, I'm going to sh be telling you this as simply and as quickly as I possibly can, mainly because I want it to be a fairly short video so I can get it into your brains quicker. People don't like having long videos of explanation when something can be explained within five minutes. See, I'm already wasting time here. So, as you can see here, this is a little questing room, let's say. We'll call this the questing area. And you can see a bunch of uh, wooden pressure plates and uh, stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to show you what this is. So, what this is, is this initiates everything. So, this actually starts off the quest so that everything will work. Nothing will work unless you go through those areas. Look. Nothing's happening here, and when I go over this area, I activate this block and activate all the pistons that are around here so that I actually allow these to actually work and do whatever they're supposed to do. Okay, so I'm going to go over these, these worm pressure plates, and as you can see, all of the quests have now been activated. Now, these are quest objectives. Obviously, you know, when you complete an objective, you get like a special reward or something like that. That's the idea I've got request reward system. It's mainly for what the reward is, not what the actual quest is. But you can add like some side rewards and stuff like that when someone completes a quest, depending on what they do in that quest. It actually gives um, the player a choice rather than just saying, oh, do this side objective, and then, you know, you get nothing, but um, you get pride for it. No, 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 give them something. So this is what this is. So I'm just going to show you show you what it's like at the moment. So I'm going to go to the end here, and this will finish off the quest. It will give me a bunch of text and tell me what my reward is. And there you go, a thousand XP and um, some armor. Okay, so I'm going to go back over there, and I actually have to reset this because it's once again a one-way thing. That's why the uh, the thing at the beginning there, the, uh, the entrance there is actually existent because it needs to be one way. Okay, so let's reset the whole thing. Go over this. Now, I'm going to go over all of these these two pressure plates here. So this is Objective 2. Now, what you usually get is a thing that says, Congratulations, you've completed Objective 2. But I never got around to actually doing that. I think it must have slipped my mind. This is Objective 1. When this um, goes off, it activates this, um, this gate here. <coughs> this gate here. And then uh, goes along like that. Same with this one. Now, this is a double objective. This one requires you to complete both of them before both before the objective can actually be completed. And what happens is the exact same thing as these two, only it goes around to another gate block, which is right here. <clears throat> that requires both of these torches to be taken off in order for this one to be powered, which then powers the corresponding objective rewards. These are the rewards for the objectives. When you complete, I think, objective two or one, this reward would then become available when the power is sent through here to the last remaining line of uh, rewards and, uh, and stuff like that. And it also tell you what's going on. So, at the moment, quests 1 and 2 have been completed. So, we're going to go along here. And what happens is when we go over along this, it will tell us that we've completed Objective 1 Objective 2. And we've gotten a 200 XP bonus for doing so. Now, I'm going to show you. I'm going to reset it. I'm going to reset it again. Like this. And I don't need to reset the end. Uh, okay. Actually, no, yeah. I need to... Um, ah, resetting. This... <laughs> I will, I have found some more, some better ways of doing this, but uh, that will be in the future. Anyway, yeah, so this is objective three, I believe. And if I was to do that one, it will power off one of those, allowing one of the torches to be powered off. Now we've got to power the other one, which is this line here, which is this one. Go on this. And now they're both being powered, and now this one's being powered for objective number three. Now if we was to complete this... There you go, 200 XP bonus for completing Objective 3. Now what we sh what I should make with this is maybe some um, some ways of saying that you missed out on Objective 1 and 2, and that if you complete Objective 1 and 2, that command block will be taken off using a piston or something like that for what a usual power source would go through it. But anyway, yeah, this is a, a quick quest reward system. It's more of a... Um, it's not really... It's about the idea more than the actual system I've got here itself. It's about the idea of giving the player more to go for rather than a score bonus or something like that. Something in the actual game and being... I'm talking about adventure maps here. Or you could do it on, um, on my, my, my player servers or something like that. But I'm talking about adventure maps where the player usually gets a secondary objective, but it's usually a case of get this and then put your score up on a forum. It's cool, don't get me wrong, but I'd like to have something that's actually in-game as like a reward for my extended work, you could say. Even though it's not work, you enjoy it. But I mean, you'd like a reward for what you have accomplished. Would you not? <laughs> Would you not want a reward? What's wrong with you? Anyway, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this little... 
I would say tutorial. <laughs> tutorial concepts. Concept of the quest reward system. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.